Hey peeps! Welcome back. Uh, we're still a little way away, but I just thought I'd start this a little early. I want to first off swim over with a full stamina gauge and possibly from a better point if I can. So that seems a lot further than this. Uh, I've got to attack them away and. Well, you can see that. See the effects of what's happened. Yeah, so... That's kind of what happened to me a minute ago, actually. I thought, heard a zombie, couldn't see it, thought it was nothing, and then... Zombie in the water, I guess. Oh, actually, actually, actually. I should get better with conserving these. Uh, running back, I did actually happen to run past the old base. I must have run ran near here. Or double loot. I don't super like to, but my luck at the moment is sort of making me think maybe I should. Unless it's only a tier one. If it was a tier five or something, I'd probably be sat here going, oh, you shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't double loot anything that size. All the pictures on the walls because you never know which one he's gonna have. Okay, safe.
Yep. I was walking over actually, I did think of something I could talk about while I'm doing these, just to try and keep me engaging the audience. It's one of those things I have very little experience with, and I definitely need to get better. But as for getting better, it's no easy task. Oh, yeah, the skill point. I, I, I realized that at the last second, didn't I? Uh, let's... Let's put that in Lucky Looter, because that will... Like, level 5 isn't too far away. But it means I can... Yeah, I can get some stuff into salvage. Take my time with that. Wear that, take that, take the iron arrows, which are especially useful with me. Nice. Tier 2 stone. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I'm probably going to go on and talk about my d, d stuff. I have a lot of good stories for it and not a lot of opportunities to expand. I sort of get the sessions in that in the moment. I know I've been a bit scatterbrained lately. I've had a lot going on. So this might be a good time to try and... I don't know. Align my thoughts as I would like them. Fancy ass way of saying. I have no idea. Someone help. Lovely. That is a very good find. Um. <sighs> When you need something you can't find it, when you find something you don't need it. Nice. That was a very quick level up. But I am not going to question it, so I should get more salvage books. Um, yeah, I'm going to start by just doing a little synopsis of the campaign so far. So, Arc 1, we had unknowingly been hired by a master thief to steal a key to a vault on one of the other islands. Nice. We didn't know he was the thief and one thing leads to another, he's got the key, we don't. Move over to the next island. We know he's planning on... We know where he's going. Because he only picks, obviously, one door. And we know... He's likely not going to hang around because he would know we're going to make a point of letting them know. So he's going to want to get moving. We get there, they start gearing up, but they want some more time to... 
to prepare and they want us to do some investigating. So we go to a known location and we're there like, if we can stop this before it happens, it's so much easier. And it would have been. We do get a lot of information from that uh, ship, actually. And that was an amazing find. I don't know if anyone saw that, but... Triple pockets? <laughs> No wonder these two are fighting over it so fiercely. Uh, yeah, so anyway. We're expecting this guy to... Yeah, sneak in and try and get through the detected. So we've got probably every anti-stealth tactic you could come up with at that point in the game. Bear in mind, we're like level three maybe at this point. Um, No, go back, go back. I'm gonna cross over here, I'm gonna go there, and then use the land. So anyway, he comes in through the fucking ceiling and he looks rough before we even start fighting him. It's like he fell down halfway up the building he's climbing into. Uh, turns out we hadn't knocked him out, killed him, anything like that. Uh, we saw a lot. We had people detect magic in the room. They c cast it. Illusionary magic. But we're not sure what doing. And I think there was other kinds of magic mixed in. So we're there like, hmm, that's not right. So we shove him in the morgue. We treat him like he's dead and we lock him in. Um, pa named party member number two, Cyrus. I, of course, play as Note, my little blue cobalt wizard lizard, who I've probably mentioned a few times on stream. So Cyrus stays with Eclipse's body while Note stays with the vaults. Note wanting to sort of study and think, and Note's currently holding onto the key. Note made sure he grabbed it and was like, hey, I'll hold on to this for the night. You know, I know it, it, we're leaving the keys to the kingdom outside the front gates, but what choice do we have? Besides, our big threat's dealt with. Right? No. Um, a different character. Phylus. Yes, my brother who runs the session panicked. Do what you will. Um, he breaks in, he's like, oh, it had to be you. And it was basically who gets the first spell off. We kind of knew I could take him one on one. Um, When we knocked him down before, I'd done, like, not a load of the work, but I'd done enough as to where it made it very clear. If I got the first hit, I'd win. He can sleep on me, and sleep's a very powerful spell against low-level parties. You can guess what happened. <sighs> God fucking damn it.
There we go. All right. Um, yeah. Bylus knocks note out. I don't know. I think he checked note for the key and took it. So note's all tied up as Bylus goes to break out of clips. Well, it doesn't fully go to plan. Because behind the scenes, my companion Cyrus, mentioned him earlier, is guarding Eclipse's body and doing his best to make sure he doesn't wake up. Or break out of ways awake. Um, well... While this is fighting him, he realizes, ah, oh, Clips is alive and awake, what's he doing? So, we're there, trying to... Stop him. And, we we keep track of the turns, it takes a, a couple of rounds to break out of the... Um, ropes. And then the whole, the whole structure they're in. Now it's called Euclid's Vault. It's non-Euclidean structure is the best way to describe it. So basically you can walk forwards and end up walking out the door you came in. It's very strange, very hard to comprehend. But that doesn't matter when you've got pretty much explosions ringing through the building. As Note is running to the morgue, which is just across the hallway at the moment. It might not have been the next day, but we didn't explore that possibility. Oh yeah. um, casting Thunderclap after Thunderclap to alert as many people as possible that something's wrong. Does anyone know what's wrong? No, of course not. They just know there is one person who said if if you hear hear thunder it's me. <laughs> so the whole place goes on high alert. Well, the rest of the party runs over to us. Um, Eclipse breaks out and manages to teleport. Back up to the room. We, we were fighting him originally. We rush in there. He does this whole villain monologue. And then we proceed to wipe the floor with him. After that, we send him off to to a island where magic doesn't work. And we move on with our lives as this. Everything's done and over with. Except for the fact we kind of killed him there, but it was under orders from a politician and honestly, two of us were directly from the Underdark. If the words, we should kill this guy for the safety of the people come out of someone's mouth and you're from the Underdark, you don't want to argue. Morals are very loose down there. Oh Jesus, we're already at 10 minutes. What's the next place we went to? I want to think of this before I say anything out loud because some stories are in a weird place. 
Tell you what, I'll think of it and then I'll come back in a moment. Enjoy. Hello. I'm back. And horrible weather out. Did make a forge though, so. I want to get some stuff in there ready. I know I've not exactly got lots to do that with, but I always feel like it's something that's worth doing. While I do that, then. I would like to go for a different story. And I think I have one that will be interesting. Or rather, I think I've got the next one and it's the right one to go for. Alright, let's got the door. In here, I might make into a storage area slash secondary horde, horde base because that door's obviously not going to hold forever. In here would be great for the main one. In here, let's say something happens, I turn on some blade traps, run through here. And here is set up to let them come in. I think that could work. Yeah, it just changed the original idea. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to go through and clear this out. While I'm doing that, I'm going to try and remember the events of um, Eisenslanga. If that is something offensive, play my brother. He's the one who named the place in this fantasy world. So... I'm going to begin by making a statement about what we needed. Our goal at this point in time was to create a machine capable of finding a person across a much wider distance than the locate person spell. We had found out that our politician friend well, it's doing some dirty deals behind the scenes due to having the face blindness, the, the mental disease, illness, whatever you wish to call it, where you can't distinguish a person's face from another's. Now, it was very difficult for my character to figure this out because I'm literally the only blue scaled kobold. with major scarring on his hands and arms in a very, very large area. We shall stick with that for now, because I am too lazy to try and figure out anything better. So... He explained this to us and said that a character by the name of uh, Scrogenger, I butcher that every time, so whatever. Um, this man has turned around to him and said, I can help cure. Let's give 
problem. Um, I can help cure your face blindness. I just need some help. Brilliant, thinks the man. This is exactly what I was after. Nope. Pulls him up on this. No, so they're like, hey, look. The guy said that we just thought was like, oh, you're like this, and I don't believe that, but I just want to hear it from you. And he's like, nope, nope, you are perfectly right. We will talk about this in the morning, though. I want to get to bed. And the rest of the party was there, like, oh, you're getting us killed. And I'm like, hey, look, it's what my character would do. He is as aware of these things as a fish to the human language. Yet. So, the following morning, we're in his office. And he tells us he'd been working with this guy to try and get a cure to his face blindness. But, after the previous night, he's now thinking, maybe I made a mistake. And I need to... Not undo that mistake, but I need to make some corrections. So he sends us to this other island, Eisenslange, to recover some, I think it was some, some uh, schematics for this big person finder. From that, we had a couple of issues. The big one, namely, Um, powering the device would require a huge amount of energy. As in, it would be either sacrifice half the people in the archipelago, which wasn't on the cards, or... I just realised I've still got... Or find an alternate source of power. Well, named party member number three, Ishmael managed to provide that power eventually. From two beads believed to have been sent to him by his patron. Um, these beads held enough power to power the person finding but before that we had to go get the schematics. I forget the name of the creature we encountered, but we'll get to that in a minute. There's a couple of events that happened before that. And in fact, I think that's a good place to end the episode. Uh... God, I'm still going to do. I'm going to do one more episode. I think I've got time. Um, comments this time. Give me some feedback. Are you, you know, if you're listening, are you enjoying the D and D story? Do you want me to stop the D and D story? Uh, would you like me to talk about different characters? I've got a lot more recent ones for note. So I can keep them going for a uh, I can keep them going for a good while. Yeah. 
just uh, let me know what you think. But with that, don't forget to like, follow. No, wait, that's wrong. Uh, like the video, follow me on Twitch. That is twitch.tv forward slash Adavenye underscore. If you can't spell it, look at the page. Not the page name. My brain today. Look at the channel name. Or I will hopefully remember to put a link in the description. With that, I'll see you all. Next time. Later.